Hey, y'all. This is Fast Food Fred, and I'm talking today about VR pressing the menu button. You know, uh, every, every controller has some kind of some kind of button that, that lets you access the menu. So, so you don't press that button, and what would you do? You're gonna you're gonna get yourself a tasty chunk. Uh, this is Fast Food Fred. Hey y'all, Fast Food Freb again with a tasty chunk. Thank you for pushing that menu button right there. Have fun out on your adventures and don't forget, we'll always be here with a tasty chunk when you need it. I'm Fast Food Freb. Crap, Rick! You, 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 you made a Morty clone, Rick! Yeah, I know. I had to rearrange the entire garage to do it, Morty. Morty clone, pay attention to me. I need you to take this laundry and put it in the washing machine. And if that's too confusing of instructions for you, you know, there's a dry erase board on the, that I put up in the garage here. The dry erase board area, you'll see I wrote instructions on what you're supposed to do. I can't believe we, 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 you made a Morty clone, Rick! I know. I made a Morty clone, Morty. What are you gonna do, say about that? That's pretty crazy! Oh, 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 oh. Wow, Rick, he's a regular old Morty clone. That's right, Morty. Jeez, Rick, I mean... He's, uh, I don't think he's getting it, really. Yeah, you know, all he has to do is put the, uh, the clothes in the washing machine and then turn it on. You know, it's, uh, doesn't take rocket science to figure that out. It's even up on the dry erase board I made. Ah, okay, good. So now that this Morty clone finished the laundry, I don't need it anymore. I mean, it's pretty much just a useless pile of floating head and hands. So I think I'll just go ahead and shoot it. expecting you to be dead so soon, so if you don't want to be dead, you can just press that button right in front of you on the phone. Hey, uh, over here, Morty Clone. Listen, uh, I had to bring you back for some really important stuff that I can't get into right now because me and Morty have to go. The, the, the stuff's gotten out of hand. Yeah, you know, we've got to hurry, Rick, come on! All right, listen, I made a teleport system for you. All you have to do is, you know, look in the direction you want to go in the room and then click the trackpad button under your thumb. Just just push the button down and you can teleport to any part of the room. All right, uh, one last thing, Morty Clone. There's a watch over there on the shelves. I'm going to need you to grab the watch and put it on your wrist. You'll be able to call me using the watch. This is very important. All right, Morty Clone? Come on, Rick, we gotta hurry! All right, Morty clone, we gotta go. Don't touch any of my stuff while we're gone. Oh, good, you found the watch. You're not as dumb as I thought. Okay, use that to call me back once you get the lay of the land. All right, clone Morty. I'm gonna be receiving a part in the driveway. Now, since you can't leave the garage, you're gonna have to use some help. So, if you just hit the button on the Me Seeks box, it's the green and blue box on the shelf there. That should help you out. Even an idiot could figure this one out. Delivery for Rick. I tried to find a home version of it. I ended up finding a crappy clone made on the Chikina planet. I know that sounds pretty on the nose, but where do you think China got its name? 
Booyah! Ethnic joke. Welcome to the year 1972, where ethnic comedy is on the rise. Hey, hey we're, we're two, two demons, demons and a bee. I modified the meat seeks that you can't leave the garage. They should mimic every action you do, except for teleporting, of course. I'm gonna call them you seek. Oh. Oh great, they don't make them like they used to. Probably a good idea not to order these off of Florg's list. I'm gonna need you to order me another one of these things, Clone Morty. Head over to the my workbench and um, I'll activate my computer remotely using my remote uh, device. Way to go, Clone Morty. You broke my computer. You really have a delicate touch. Uh, I I'm gonna need you to fix it. The instructions are uh, in the cabinet door.
I am the car. I made a mixtape too. Your mixtape sucks. Mine is better. That's why my tape has no music on it. Cassette tapes are for pussies. End of tape. Thank God. Uh, you got the part. Okay. It took you long enough. Listen, that part you're holding is of critical importance. You're going to use it to retrieve an extremely powerful item, but it's not going to be easy. It's going to be one of the hardest things you've ever done. It's going to be very confusing. It's going to be very difficult. And it's going to be really challenging. This shit is about to get kicked up like a hundred notches. And when you're ready for the fight of your life, give me a call back on the um, little wrist phone that, that, I, that, that I made for you. Wow, that's all the time you needed to prepare for your impending doom? Hey, it's your funeral. Alright, listen, I opened up a new location for you in the portal. Just select the new location with the arrows on the portal wall lever. And then, you know, once you've selected it, pull the, pull the lever and a portal will open up automatically for you. You're gonna want to grab the device you bought on the internet. You're gonna want to bring that with you.
laxative. You know, to make you shit better. Did I really need to explain it? Oh wait, I do. Y you don't have an ass. You're just a head and hands. You poor <gasps> little thing. <laughs> Good job, Clone Morty. I, I told Morty, you know, to use the bathtub to deposit that thing, but he insisted on the toilet. Now we have to grab it. Now that we have it, grab it and head back through the portal. Clone Morty, you're finally back from your little bathroom adventure. Listen, I need to upgrade the car for a very important outing that I don't want to get into right now. Anyways, I'm going to need you to plug the seed into that seed-shaped hole in the engine area. Mega Seed Artificial Intelligence Microprocessor activated. All right, good. We're, we're going to need some help upgrading this car. Uh, since you can't talk, go ahead and call me on your watch thing. You know, the, the thing on your wrist. And uh, Mr. Poopy Butthole will go ahead and tell me when you're ready to start.
don't let me know when you're ready. Either way, uh, I only made you and keep you alive because I chose to. But yeah, go ahead and ignore me. Um, I'm going to need your help to upgrade the rest of the car. Hey, Rick, how, how's the clone supposed to know how to fix the car, you know? I mean, it's just a dumb clone. Morty, the instructions are simple. Yeah, right, Rick. I bet you, 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 you couldn't figure it out. Shut up, Morty. Got it. Jeez, Rick, I don't know. Nitro fuel tank at full capacity. Systems responding again. Nitro fuel? Are we flying with a car full of nitro? Couldn't you, like, find a more stable compound? Couldn't you, like, be a more stable teenager? Yeah, what, what, what she said, Summer. All right, Morty, Summer, it looks like the car's ready to go, so let's get rolling. We got shit to do. All right, Clone Morty. You know, you, you did real good today, so kudos to you. Anyway, just uh, take some time to relax, but, um, you know, you can, you can fumper around the garage, whatever. Um, and uh, when you're ready to just continue moving forward with the actual game, just give me a call back. I got, I got other shit for you to do.
Look at you. Oh. I got it, got it. Ooh, got it. Hey, Clone Mori, you useless piece of garbage. You, you must have done a real shit job when you tried to upgrade the car. We broke down and we need your help to get us out of this mess. Open up the portal wall to the new location so we can bring you here. definitely screwed up with this upgrade, Clone Morty. Anyway, we came here to get a special kind of egg. It's the one on that rock over there, so why don't you figure out how to get it and bring it over here while I fix the mess you made in my car. Grandpa, I think this clone is either dumb. All right, get over here and give the egg to the car. Not so sure about this, Rick. This seems like some kind of nature preserve, you know? Morty, it is a nature preserve, and I'm way ahead of you. I disabled any alarms or any detective measures that might have detected us coming here. Wait, shit, Morty. Oh my god, what are we gonna do, Rick? We're too young for space prison. Hey, put the egg back immediately. insects today. All right, no. Place your hands over the glowing bits. You just gotta put your hands like we're scanning your handprint. Ah. Oh, shit. He's on. Shit, those sons of bitches. Don't look at the scan. All right, Clone Morty, cover us while I fix the car. You, you, you've got hand blasters now. You can shoot. There's no shooting type situation here now. Shoot, 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 Wait a minute. How is that? You have to get rid of these
I'm gonna go ahead and disable all the safety mechanisms on your hand cannons and, uh, you know what they say, there's only one way out, Clone Horny. Uh, that goes for all of us. Wow, Rex, that sounds really honorable. Hey, do you have any patriotic music that, you know, you can maybe send them out with? I do have some patriotic music, Clone Horny. Yeah, what? Play him that- Captain, what's happening here? Have you ever stopped to think about the total absurdity of your life? You're in VR, dying, apparently, with wild abandon. Did you even consider that what you were doing is essentially meaningless? I mean, here you are, literally, sacrificing yourself for whatever task Rick has sent you to, and you're not even questioning the existential manifestation of consciousness! This is a VR! Are you even aware of the amazing future tech you have strapped to your face? You are playing with pixels strapped to your face! Welcome back, Clone Morty. The egg we acquired is on the desk, so... Go ahead and, uh, pick it up and find somewhere warm to incubate it. You know, so somewhere nice and warm so that it'll get nice and incubated and, and hatch. I I'm sure you can figure something out. You should find something that, that, that it'll play with, you know, get its attention, and then throw something and play fetch with it or whatever.
It's trying to tell you what it wants you to do. Just, just follow it. Just, it, it'll guide you. It's very easy. My sweet little Troy. It's gonna show you what it needs, Clone Morty. Just see where it's at and kind of you'll figure out what it needs. Oh dear, who left that on the floor? You're always finding ways to get into trouble, aren't you, Troy? That's right. What you gonna do about it, loser? Oh, I think I broke something. Troy, what have you done? I still can't believe you punched Jimmy. And you managed to steal all these beers. You're one bad dude, Troy. Cheers. Hey, Al, what was that for? Troy, you're crazy. Hey, Troy, my man. You got any more of that good stuff? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Hey, I'm a bit short on dough today. Is this gonna be enough? I'll get you back for the rest, man. Don't you worry about it. You can always count on me, buddy. Troy, you can't keep doing this forever. It's time to get realistic. You need to do something with your life. What have you got there, Troy? Show me. This is a good idea. You've got plenty of time to start a new career. It's another chance to find something you love doing. Welcome to the job fair. We're going to help you find a job that fits you and your lifestyle. Take a look at these pamphlets. If you find one you're interested in, just show me which one. Hey, a musician. I think you got what it takes, man. Let's get you set up with some instrument recommendations. Okay, Troy, we're ready to go. Grab that mic and let's kick things off in style. One, two, three, and you're never too old to rock.
first big show and you're totally blowing it. Happy retirement, retirement Troy. Troy. You've always been such a hard worker, Troy. I'm glad you finally get to rest. Doctor, isn't there anything you can do for him? I'm afraid not. As I'm sure you know, Troy's early life was a bit troubled in terms of, uh, substance use, and it's finally caught up with him. Well, here's your diagnosis, Troy. I know it's not what you want to see right now, but it's the truth. Troy's lived a full life, but all things must one day end. I'm sorry to tell you this, Troy, but you've got about 10 seconds to live. Oh my god, Troy! I can't believe this! Uh, please, please don't leave me! I'll, I'll never forget a moment of our time together!
Hi, this is 1% Visible. I'm Steven Barp. The exchange of goods on a galactic scale is no small feat. Even before faster than light travel, galactic citizens needed a way to ship physical goods to anywhere in the galaxy. We ordered goods that are unique to specific planets and expect they make it intact to our front doors rapidly. We ship uh, approximately 44 million items in a single galactic standard day. That's Proof Canoe. Hey, I'm Proof Canoe, and I'm the manager in charge of Gazorpus Orpazon Regional Office number 648. Proof manages just one of the thousands of Gazorpus Orpazon's regional distribution centers speckled across the galaxy. People need all kinds of things, and uh, we hold them here first, and then we ship them out. We got uh, okay. shovel, nerds. Fairies, everybody loves them. Uh, pretty much anything that's legal, we package and ship here. Our distribution center covers approximately 0.09% uh, of the galaxy. And that's just a single center. Once you combine Gazorpa Zorpazon's entire network together, you cover almost all of the galaxy. The scale of their operation is truly stunning. I mean, not everyone has a home teleportation device to receive their package. All right, it looks like you can follow the instructions of possibly the second dumbest thing in the universe next to you. Now that you've finished that, I can come back to the garage. What a cute little creature. Come here, little guy. Come here. Rick, well, why would you have the clone help it and then just kill it like that? It's not useful to me alive. It's better this way. I mean, I mean, you eat chicken, Morty. What do you think happens to them? You know, it's a cold universe. Factory farming, Morty. You, you know, if you, if, you, if you want to sit here and preach, you might want to consider putting your money where your mouth is, going vegan or, or whatever, and leave me out of it. It's not my problem. Jeez, you really tore me apart with that, Rick. You know, you're right. I'm going vegan. This is canon. Morty is now vegan. This is canon. Canon shit just happened in this VR game. Canon shit. I'm ve I'm a full on vegan now. Season four, all vegan. Season four, 100% vegan, Morty. All right, shut up, Morty. <laughs>
Clone Morty, stand still! I'm recalibrating my shrink ray so that it'll make you big enough to fight that thing! Eh, uh, okay, I may have overdone it a bit. Anyway, uh, we've already killed a couple of these things, so I'm pretty sure you know what to do. Ew! Oh my god, oh, it's disgusting! Um, Rick, now that it's saved the planet, you're gonna shrink the clone back to normal size, right? It saved the planet, Rick. Listen, Morty, you know I could go through all the process of reconfiguring the shrink ray, but I think I've got a better solution. Clone Morty, I'm gonna have to kill you again. Hold still. Hi, hello. I'm the Devil's Secretary, Summer Intern's intern, and yeah, so uh, you're, you're you're dead. Um, look, this is hell. There are infinite levels of bureaucracy in here. I've got interns. My interns have interns. Those interns also have interns. It's a it's a multi-level management scheme. Think like uh, Herbalife, but with dead people instead of Hispanics. And actually, today is your lucky day because we just had an opening for an intern for me. So if you could gather together three of your friends, then uh, their salaries would be paid to you, and then your salary would be paid to me for turning you on to this amazing opportunity. And uh, we could get you set up here if you just... Fe oh, it uh, looks like we forgot to put the paperwork up there. Puts a, puts a bit of a damper on it, but, uh, well, anyway, uh, this is the part where normally I'm supposed to tell you that you're a, a, a bad person and you deserve to be here in, in hell, uh, but they keep telling me I'm gonna get paid at some point in experience, and I can't really find any conversion charts around here, so, eh, what the hell, just press that button and uh, I'll make sure my boss is actually around the next time you end up down here, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> Combine this mega seed with that jar of goo. Come on, hurry, hurry up!
hurt me. What the hell? I don't understand. You were supposed to be the one. I searched the whole central... Oh, Morty, Morty, there you are. I, quick, I need to combine this mega seed with... Wait a second. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? You, you stay away from my Morty. Wait, wait, wait. Your Morty? You're not his Rick asshole. It takes one gaping asshole to know a gaping asshole. Ow. Asshole? Get off of me. Get, uh, you son of a bitch. A, a little help here, Morty? Shit. Uh, fuck you. No. Uh, uh, Jesus, I can't take this anymore. Look, Morty, you want to kill a Rick? There's only one way to kill a Rick that never fails. Oh, God, it failed. Uh, Look what you did. Look what you did. Uh, we're just uh, lucky that that clone is too stupid to figure out how to fix it. Whoa, 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 whoa. What, what are you doing there, little buddy? Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, 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 not me, not me. I, I'm... Woohoo! Yeah, take that, Rick. Yeah, how does that... Rick, the clone has a gun! Don't worry, I got this. Time to shoot another clone, Morty. Welcome back, Clone Morty. I gotta hand it to you. Destroying that giant alien, killing a Rick. You really did a great job. High five. Come on, don't leave me hanging, Morty clone. Oh god, Rick, oh god, what did you do? Why is it bleeding? It's a computer chip, Morty. Everyone knows you can't just combine raw mega seed. Oh jeez, Rick, you kept the chip inside him this whole time? Yeah, Morty, I hide all my secrets in Morty's. You should know that by now. You're like a walking safe. All right, now go ahead, clone Morty, and use the chip to upgrade the machine. You know, the one that you combine things with. You want to... All right, per perfect. Now try combining the extract of that little creature that you loved with the mega seed. All right, we're almost there. We made an omega seed. All we have to do now is combine that omega seed with anything that already has fluid in it. You know, like a bottle of fluid or something. This shouldn't be that hard to figure out, clone. Oh shit, the omega detergent. The softest, most powerful cleaning substance in the known universe. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Omega Detergent. That's right. You know what time it is? It's time to do some laundry, Clone Morty. Just pour the detergent into the washer. You know, it's been a while since I've done my laundry right. So, uh, I've been, uh, been stashing it in an alternate dimension just for a moment like this. So, here you go, Clone Morty. Morty, Morty, Morty. It's not that hard to figure out. We did all this so that we could do the laundry. Because there's a wrong way and there's a right way. And now we're doing it the right way. We, we, we went on a fun, good old-fashioned Rick and Morty adventure. And now the Morty clone is going to do our laundry. I don't know how I feel about that, Rick. You know, I, I'm, 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 not, I'm not sure I like, I like the sound of that stuff, you know? Y y there's no way we had, we had to do all that stuff just so that you could get some crappy laundry detergent. Listen, Morty. There's a bigger plan here, right? I've had this whole thing figured out for a while now. Once I had developed clone technology and made the Morty clone, I knew it was capable of doing the laundry. I knew it. From there, it was a simple matter of sneaking into the intergalactic nature preserve and stealing the last remaining egg from the nesting grounds. You know, since clone Morty was expendable, I knew it was the ultimate defense against those Federation drones. You know, the fake car malfunction was the perfect excuse to bring the clone to the nature preserve. I had that all planned out. Then we had to make sure we nurtured the baby creature to an appropriate age so it could call its mother. I mean, without mother's milk, we could never be able to make the perfect strength of the omega detergent that I wanted, you know? I mean, this is a very delicate process, Morty. Now, I knew we needed to use the only mega seed we had to upgrade the car so we could properly handle the egg, so I created a honey pot for other Ricks to find us. By being the only Rick in the multiverse that had successfully acquired an egg as well as nurture it to the proper level of maturity, I knew there would be other Ricks that would be interested in making this omega detergent. I mean, you, you, think, you think I'm the only Rick that wants his laundry done properly? I mean, these other Ricks would bring their Mega Seeds to our universe, knowing that this universe lacked the Mega Seed to create the Omega Detergent in the hopes 
that they could trick the clone into giving them detergent. We then swoop in at the last minute, take out both Ricks, which the clone surprisingly helped by taking one of them out for us, and finish the formula using the chip I hid inside the clone's hand. The clone then makes the laundry, and booyam! There we go, perfect laundry. What? None of this makes sense! Y you, you can't just say that you had a plan, and, and other Rick would show up, and it would happen that way? I mean, what about the giant creature in the sky? W what about that? Y y you didn't talk about the huge creature that came floating down and was like the size of the moon? Hey, uh, Morty, no plan is perfect. You know, we had to improvise. It was a real boondock saint situation, Morty. You've seen that movie, right? It's a cult classic, The Boondock Saints. It's about a boondock saint who goes around- What the fuck? What? What the fuck are you even talking about, Rick? Y you can't tell me that we did all of this so that you could do your laundry perfectly. I can't begin to comprehend how fucked up you need to be in the brain to even begin to allow this to happen. Morty, calm down, Morty, calm down. Calm down. You're getting all worked up about this thing. It's not a big deal. No nobody, nobody that mattered died. We came out okay, we're fine. Who cares, relax. Jeez, Rick. Jeez, Rick, what, what, what is this, some kind of Bugs Bunny episode? I mean, what is this, like the Flintstones? I mean, jeez. We, we, you had us doing all this shit. You know, you had the clone doing all this shit. And then now we're just standing here, like, you know, and, and you're just totally fine that we're just doing a bunch of laundry? Mori, listen, I can tell you're upset, buddy. But maybe you just need to put this into perspective, you know? Maybe. Maybe you just need to see that the universe is bigger than you, or me, or, or the laundry, for that matter. If I get you some ice cream, Morty, would that help calm you down? You know, this is really fucked up, Rick. You know, I, I don't know what's right, I don't, I don't know what's wrong anymore. But I, 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 I guess ice cream is good, you know, that's a good thing. Yeah, Rick, I, I give up. Let, let, let's get some ice cream. Clone Morty, we've been through this before. This is the only reason I created you. Dip the laundry in the washer, and then toss it in the dryer. Go on, Clone Morty. All right, Morty Clone. You know, you did a real good job with my laundry. Finally done to the level of perfection I need. Anyway, so, uh... We're gonna head out and get some ice cream we were just talking about, but, uh, you know, there's a lot more stuff you could do in this game, a lot more things to do. You know, the developers really threw in some insane stuff in here, man, you know, to add to the replayability. I mean, you could play Troy again. I mean, you like Troy, right? Yeah, the developers, they, they, they thought of everything, didn't they? Sure did, Morty. There's over, you know, there's 13 cassettes just laying around in, in, in the game. Try to find all 13 of those. I bet you could find them. They're like an Easter egg, you know, or whatever they call them in the video game world. Easter eggs. Yeah, Easter eggs. It's like, um, that's like, uh, Easter's like Jesus came and, or Jesus Christ came. Oh, hey, Morty, Morty, Morty. He's up on the, uh, religious stuff. It's not cool. I'm gonna be non-denominational over here. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Uh, you know, you, you could go back to Shootout World, Clone Morty. Remember Shootout World, where, where you shot all the, all the insects in the nature preserve? Yep, that's it. We can go back there. We, we, we put a scoreboard up for you. How about that? The developers, they put a scoreboard up. You can see how many of those uh, bugs that you can kill now. That's a fun little mini game for you. Oh, man, that's some real serious, like, extra, you know, unlocked replayability right there. That's like, cha-ching, just unlock that shit. Yeah. Now you got that unlocked. You know what else you got unlocked is the biggest battery in the microverse machine. That's right. Now you can try to charge the biggest battery, see how far you can go. It's the world's biggest battery. It's like, just how long can you play the game for before you lose in the little microverse machine? Oh my god, what? Man, they threw it all in, Rick. They threw in the kitchen sink along with it, too. I mean, that's just wild. You think that's wild, Morty? Your dad's around here somewhere. Oh, wait. Do, is that Jerry I hear? Uh, no, you can't hear him yet, but, but no, it's true. Jerry's in the game. You know, I, I don't know what you have to do to hear him, but like, you can hear him. He's, he's, he's around. I mean, just go, go, go tinkering, go exploring, go exploring. You got a whole world to f play with now. Man, it's chalk filled. It's chalk filled with secrets over here. All right, Morty, shut up. Yeah. So, anyways, Morty Clone, I'm pretty sure that, you know, y you got a lot of stuff to to figure out. You know, there's all kinds of stuff to figure out. So, we're gonna get going. Me and Morty got an ice cream date. We're gonna go get some ice cream. Oh man, I can't wait to eat some ice cream. I'm gonna eat that ice cream. That's right. So, um, we're gonna go do that. 
uh, you hang back and look for those little secrets. Just do me one little favor. Don't touch any of my shit. This is my stuff. This is my garage. This is my world. Yeah, this is his place. You, you don't mess with his stuff, you little punk. Yeah, don't mess with my stuff, you dumb punk. Oh, 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 oh,